Samir Khalif, I'm the director of the uh, Cancer Center at the Georgia Health Sciences University, and I'm a speaker at the uh, 27th annual meeting for the CITSI. The I'm participating in a uh, session which is which addresses the critical issues for clinical trials in immune therapy. You know, uh, the issue of immune therapy, of course, is that uh, we know more about how it works now and the mechanism and the biology behind the way that the immune therapy works. We in the field are trying now, of course, in clinical trials, to define how clinical trial design should be implemented in immune therapy in general. And particularly when we talk about those generalities of differences in implementation, we need to talk about what is it, what it, what is importance about uh, the responses or the response rate or the design itself or the patient population, etc. So this session is going to be actually focusing on areas that would define those challenges in immune therapy, clinical trial design, and how do we put those designs to action for the 21st century in developing this fourth modality of cancer therapy. The two areas that we're trying to actually focus on is one, the early clinical trial design. Is it the same as chemotherapy or it's different than chemotherapy? And since now we know that it should be different, what is it required for those clinical trial design in early stages of development of the drug that would be needed to take the drug into late stage of development phase threes or the market? What are the issues that are similar or different than chemotherapy? And how do we think about designing those early clinical trials? Particularly that at the end, those immune therapies are not going to be working by themselves as one uh, uh, modality or, or one drug such as a chemotherapy. They have to be working in uh, multiple combination with other immune modulators because at the end, when we try to influence the immune system to function or work against the tumor, we're working on all the tumor uh, immune modulating network, which is a vast network. So accordingly, there are multiple areas that need to be hit. So we come back to early development and the responses in early development. What do we take as measures of working or not working? One and second, if we're going to start combining those different drugs together, how do we design uh, trials to be efficient and, uh, and in a way uh, uh, cost effective? Because when we start thinking of the different combinations, whether in blocking antibody for co-inhibitory molecules or uh, neutralizing antibody for inhibitory cytokines or affecting specific suppressive uh, uh, cells, such as T regulatory cells or MDSCs. So if we think of that multiple uh, or different uh, modality therapy, particularly if it's combined with vaccine, there are multiple of those A, B, C, D drugs. So what do we do for early development in those drugs and how do we design them in a way that we don't have to go through phase ones every single time for those combinations that would might take years and millions and millions of dollars.